I am so excited to be here. You might know Hugh Van Kylenberg as the resilience guy, thanks to his best-selling book. We also, at one point, uh, were the second most medicated country in the world for anxiety disorder. It just doesn't add up. Hugh also runs a mental wellbeing program. For 12 years, he's preached the principles of gratitude, empathy and mindfulness to more than one million Aussies. And because he's not busy enough, Hugh also co-hosts the podcast The Imperfects, alongside his brother Josh and comedian Ryan Shelton. Then I just went, you know what? Let go. He's brought me back down to zero. I told my mum, you know, Marion's not not just my friend, she's she's my girlfriend. Everyone's got a cloud over them. Most of us just don't see the cloud. It's trying to me trying to remind my brain that anxiety can't hurt you. Now Hugh is bringing his incredible message to the masses with a 90-minute GEM special on Amazon Prime. His aim? To help us simply feel happier. I want to hear more about Kate Lanebrook's... Um, what is it? Cloud. Cloud. Yeah. Get the words out, will they? <laughs> How about you shut up and interview Hugh Van Kylenberg? <laughs> um, well, after stuffing that up, I'm not happy. What is the key to happiness? <laughs> First of all, the audience member who did my introduction, yeah. mm. no one ever gets my name correct. Oh. In fact, this morning, Amanda Keller called me uh, Hughes Kylan. <laughs> <laughs> Hughes Kylan, which so well done to the audience member who... <laughs> unbelievable. Um, what was the question? Well, <laughs> congrats on the Amazon special. Oh, so this is, this is going global. But the key to happiness, how would you summarise mm. it? Uh, yeah, I don't think there is a key to happiness, which is a weird thing to say because that's what my special is all about. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you're promoting the yeah, key to Yeah, I know, happiness. I just... I just yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to say... Um, there are just so many things that we can do and often we choose to not do them. We're just like, yeah, I know that's good for me, but I... So all I try and do is just present three things that I think... It's kind of like low-hanging fruit. They're things that we can easily do every day. That, they just help us to feel happier. They don't fix all our problems. They don't make us the happiest person going around, but they definitely make us feel happier. Um, you've done so well with these talks. I saw one of them. I sat with um, a bunch of 18-year-olds that all work at McDonald's and we were all... Like, amazed by it. One of them was asleep. One of them was asleep. <laughs> That's what I remember, yeah. Um, what, uh, you almost had to walk away from doing these talks? Yeah. Yeah, so I've been doing this for 14 years now, walking, like, like literally going around Australia doing these talks on, on gratitude, empathy and mindfulness. Are they the three things? Mm. Sorry, they're the three things. Because you just yeah. said there are the three oh, yeah. things that are the key. <laughs> it's the ultimate tease. You have to watch, you have you to watch, watch the special. You've got to watch the special to find yeah, it. That's so, why it's GEM, right? Yeah, GEM, yeah. Gratitude I'm and... really worried that it looks like... I'm saying Hugh Van Kylenberg, a gem. <laughs> it's not, I'm not saying I'm a gem. Yeah, no, not really, but... Um, so, gratitude, empathy, mindfulness. Um, I've been talking about these for, like, 14 years, and every talk's a little bit different, but they really sort of work around those three things. And I was just so exhausted from doing it. And I was seeing my psychologist, and she said... And she basically said, you have to stop. And she said... Yeah. And, I, and I said, but it's, it's helping so many people. And she said, I'm not here to help so many people. I'm here to help you. You've got to stop. It's not normal to do what you're doing. And then COVID happened. I felt like I just couldn't stop. And so I just kept doing and doing them. And then, um, yeah, Amazon said, look, we could capture this and we could put it out for the world. Mm -hmm. And that way anyone can watch it anytime, anywhere. And that kind of worked for me because I needed to retire. <laughs> um, but then I, I didn't want... Also, I want my kids to see this one day. So it's nice to have a record of it. For, yeah. I mean, they couldn't be less interested at the moment. But, <laughs> but one day, one day it might be good for them. Um, there's been a bit of a backlash to the whole happiness movement. I think some people have described it yeah. as toxic positivity. I know that you're acutely aware of that. Um, but do you think happiness as a goal is a bit unrealistic? Yeah, I do. I do. Why? Well, I think it's a silly goal to have because... When we first had kids, people were saying to me, this is about six years ago now, when we first had kids, people were saying, what do you want more than anything for your kids? And I started off by saying, I just want them to be happy. Yeah. But as they got, I was probably about two weeks in, I thought, that's such an unrealistic goal. They're not always going to be happy. What do I want for my kids? And the reason I do these talks, not just for my kids, but for everyone, is that I want my kids for when, not if, but when something goes wrong in their life, they know how to bounce back. Or at least they have some tools they can put into place to help them sort of push through in really challenging times. Last time, speaking of challenging times, last time you were on this show, you gave us all some advice about COVID. Mm. Now the cost of living crisis, it's messing with my happiness levels. Mm. Um, any advice on how to... Uh, resilience, happiness, cost of living, how do we <laughs> feel know, better about it? question right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ten how do you solve all the problems? <laughs> yeah, I feel like saying, just watch the Amazon special and it's... it's all <laughs> <laughs> Which is a very selfish thing to say, but... Um, 
I saw there's a 30 day like free trial on Amazon, so you don't need to pay for it. Yeah. You can just, and then you can delete it. And then, I don't think I meant to say that, but that's it. Let me just to hack the system. I love it. <laughs> so, what did you say? Um, 30 day free trial? Yes, yes, yeah, 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 that's it. Uh, it doesn't take 30 days to watch it. That's not, a, oh, that's like, it's not that long. Is it? Rick, um, what were you saying? Oh, yes. Yeah, so for any challenge in life, whether it's the affordability crisis, um, in fact, I had a lady message me on Instagram the other day and she said, I, I saw you pop up on my feed. It was a thing you're doing on gratitude and, I, and, she, and she'd been through the flood. She said, I just lost my home. Yeah. And she said, I instantly hated you. And I thought, how can this person be telling me right now? Yeah. I've got yeah. nothing. I've lost my house. And then she said, um, that's not the end of the story. That'll be... <laughs> <laughs> um, she said, um, and then a few weeks later, I came back to it. And you said I should write down three things every day that, that went well for me. And so I wrote down... Um, I'm still breathing. She said, I can only think of one. Wow. Mm. She said, the next night I wrote down, I'm still breathing um, and I love my two dogs. I've got two dogs, I love them. And she said, by the end of the week, I could do three every night. Right. And she said, it hasn't fixed all my problems, but it's helped me to see that there's still light around me. Yeah. Um, a, so, yeah. That's a great oh, message. Um, Hugh's special, GEM, is available on Prime Video to watch uh, and also as an Audible original from today. Would you please thank Hugh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.